everyone. I know I, I said I was going to be back earlier this week and I wasn't. We had a really busy week, which is cool. And uh, so today I want to bring you along to answer some questions about the Nutri Tower that I've had questions about with the lighting and the runtime of the pump. And we're also going to get into some seeding today. I've got 12 different varieties that I'm going to be planting in the propagation tray and then we're going to transplant later on. Stick with me and I'm going to answer some questions that I've had about the Nutri Tower and uh, just to clarify everything. It's a great system. See you in a minute. So there are two questions that a lot of people are asking. A lot of people think that the lights stay on 24 seven and that the pump runs 24 seven. It does not. So with this system, the lights stay on for about 12 to 14 hours. The pump, however, only runs every, we're running it every four hours for about, we're going to say about four minutes. So you can set your timers to go off. I'm here. I've just been turning it off and on and they seem to be doing totally fine. As they get bigger, they may need a little bit more runtime, but it's not going to be, it's only going to be by minutes. So yeah, it does not run 24 seven. It's, it's the most amazing system. And I'm just going to bring you over here. So last week, I think it's been about five days since I transplanted these. Um, we did the lettuce and we also have a lettuce over here. Um, these I have cut back. So when I did transplant these, these were out of soil. If you want to go back and see that video, it kind of put it into shock. So I just cut back any leaves that were kind of laying and, you know, not doing so happy. Tomato is the one that we cut. It's doing fantastic. And the onions are doing great. I'm going to give them a haircut, actually, if you want to go back and see the haircut uh, video you can go do that but I am going to cut them back and I will probably cut them back to about there and that'll help with the bulb bulbing up uh, I've got them planted a little bit thick I'll start thinning them out later on and the kale um, so I have a little bit of tip burn on the kale as you can see if you can see it uh, that is because of my EC, my nutrients were not quite right. So my EC and pH, I had to play around with. We have hard water here. So with your water, you're going to have to play around as well. So you just have to find that perfect sweet spot for your veggies. And this leaf here, I'm going to pluck off. So if you see anything like this, just pluck it off. That's because of my pH as well, or my, uh, my nutrient solution as well. My pH and EC were just not right. Now I've got it down pot. Uh, like I said, everybody's is going to be different. So let's get on to seeding. Another thing I want to mention, sorry, but before I go any further is um, Lauren from Nutra Tower and I were talking back and forth about companion growing um, or companion planting. So with tomatoes and basil, are very good companion growers. So if, if you want to plant basil in your system, I'm going to be planting tons because we love basil and I'm going to have a couple uh, tomato plants, but they're great companions. So with tomatoes and basil, the basil actually, if it's, it's planted around or in the same soil as your tomato plants. So you're not gonna be planting it in the same soil here. You could plant a, a basil plant in beside the tomato. That's totally up to you. With the tomato and the basil being planted beside each other, it gives your, the flavor of the tomato is so much better. And it is a true thing. With my biggest thing with planting the basil and tomato together is the basil keeps away a lot of pests. Like, thrips and white fly and aphids and like there's so many so many beneficial points to planting basil within your garden so i'm going to plant basil sporadically in the system and yeah it's it's a great thing so lauren and i were talking about that and she said that she was kind of shocked 
at how good her tomatoes tasted. So it, yeah, it's a real thing. There are so many beneficial plants that you can plant in your garden or around. I'm not sure about the system. I've never planted like marigolds help keep pests out and things like that. But basil is the best thing for the tomatoes. So keep that in mind and let's get to it. We're going to start planting. What I have here is the propagation system that they send you with your tower. And this is this has 32 pucks in it. These are the coca Coir pucks. Very solid. And they have their own little space, which I really like. What we're going to do, and it comes with a dome as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a four cup measuring cup. And this may not be enough, might be enough, might be too much. Who knows? Let's just cover that up. And I'm going to let this sit for, I'm going to say maybe, I don't know, four or five minutes. Let them hoof up like they do and they're going to float right now but we can place it into their spot after let them puff up like they do and we'll be right back okay so it's been about i'm going to say four minutes what i'm going to do now is you can see that these are all saturated and they have plumped up i've taken the excess water out i just drained it out i'm going to take the end of a paintbrush actually and I'm just going to make that hole a little bit, you know, just so it's visible. Because some of these guys kind of um, cover in when you, when you put the water into them. So I'm just going to continue doing this and then we'll get seeding. Okay, there you have it. I've got all my holes uh, re-centered. And these guys are ready to be seeded. I'm going to start with the Sugar Baby Watermelon. I got these from Soap Seeds. I'm only going to put one seed per hole. There are, when you're planting anything, when it comes to herbs and stuff like that, you're going to plant a little bit more per hole. But when you plant one big seed for a vine plant or a vegetable like a tomato or whatever, you're going to plant one. So I'm going to do one Sugar Baby. I'm just going to take, they're the seeds. They're very simple to plant. What I do is the pointy side down and the round side up. So I'm just going to put that into that hole and down and that's it. So I'm going to plant one of those. We have a lot of seeds here, guys. But we're, this is the same as planting in soil for outdoor gardening as well. Then we're going to get into our cantaloupe. These are Mackenzie seeds. I've got these from local garden center. And we're just going to plant one of these. One seed. I do pointy side down. Again. Then I have my lavender. Lavender is an herb. And lavender you want to plant a little bit more per cell than you would with a fruit like a cantaloupe or watermelon. The lavender seeds are very, very small. So we're just going to take, I'm going to plant uh, two plugs of lavender. And I'm going to take, I don't know, like, I don't know, maybe there's 20 seeds there. So maybe I'll plant like 10 per plug. And I'm just going to take half of that, plant it into that soil to the cocoa choir and kind of cover it and then do the same with the next all right there's our lavender onto chamomile i got these from stokes as well who doesn't love chamomile and again chamomile is very small like super small chamomile we're also going to do actually chamomile we're going to do four of so the seeds are super, super small, like pepper seeds. And um, yeah, I still have some left. So I might not need all this seed. I'm going to do one. And I'm just going to actually, that's going to sit right on top. If I show you, you can see that sitting right on top of that one. Like that. Don't worry about that. It'll all work to, it's hard to get them into the holes. 
three and four. Okay, there we go. And then I've got the pansy from Stokes as well. Pansy flowers are edible. I don't know if you guys all know that, but they are edible and it makes such a beautiful presentation on a side. Yeah, so I just want to try this in the system. I've never tried it in a hydroponic system, even at the farm. But I do want pansy flowers in my in my salads. And I'm only going to plant one of these. So I'm going to take... So I have maybe 15 seeds here. I'm only going to plant a couple. I'm going to do like four. I'm going to grab maybe four seeds and put that in there. You don't want too many of the pansies growing in one uh, cell. And then we're gonna do three spinach. The spinach are the ones that I planted in the soil as well. So same type of thing. With spinach, they're a bigger seed. And I'm gonna do three of these, three plugs of these. So I'm gonna put in three seeds per plug. You don't have to do this many if you don't want to. You can do two. And what I'm going to do is just take out the weaker as they germinate or when they're germinated before I transplant. I cannot wait. My family cannot wait until this thing gets going once I have it full. And you know what? It's my fault for not uh, getting it done sooner, but Dwayne and I have been super busy. So now we're going to do Swiss chard. I'm going to do three of the Swiss chard as well. I'm going to plant two or three and again, take the, uh, the weaker of the three out. These are another nice big seed. And we plant in three, cover up a little bit, and we continue on until our next one. They are smaller seeds. You can see the smaller seed. And again, I'm going to put about three, I'm, I'm just gonna take a pinch because these are hard to grasp. So I'm gonna plant, say three per cell and just give it a little bit of a cover. And then I have from Stokes again, I bought um, hybrid pick, pickling cucumbers. Now with cucumbers, I get a lot of questions as well about the pollination and people have all male flowers and these are a, self-pollinating cucumber. If you go on to Stokes Seeds or just even Google um, self-pollinating cucumbers, you won't have a problem at all. Then you don't have to worry about hand pollinating or um, anything. With the pickling cucumbers, I'm only gonna do two. This is a um, cucumber called Quarantine, an amazing pickling cucumber. And with the pickling cucumber or with any cucumber seed, you have a big seed. So very easy to plant. Again, I take it so that the pointy side is going down. Just plant that in, push it down. The pointy side is generally where it's going to root from. So that's just what we've always done at the farm. And that's how I'm going to continue to do it. Then I have my basil. So with basil, if you want the best pesto basil, the... Genovese basil is amazing. We've always grown the Genovese basil. This is from Stokes as well. And uh, this is called the Mar Martina Genovese. And what we did, as we did before in one of the other videos, is I soaked my seed and you can see some purplish colored, bluish colored, grayish colored, whatever you want to call it. And we are going to plant five plugs of this. What you need is your baster and we're just going to, I might have a little bit too much seed here, but yeah, pretty sure I do, but that's all right. And we're just going to plunk that on top, on top, on top. I have way too much seed here, guys. Uh, that's four and that's five. So I'm going to take a little bit more. Again, if you're doing this in soil, you're gonna do it exactly the same way. But I do want an abundance of basil and this is gonna give us a good bouquet. This I will do into my soil. I have leftover stuff, so. And we are gonna keep planting in soil. We'll show you stuff on that as well. So now you can see that sitting right on top. 
we're just going to leave that on top and we're just going to kind of gently push down into the cocoa choir like that and that will grab hold and start germinating i'm going to show you also what i'm germinating on i'm using a heat mat in the grow room so we'll be back with that later on on to our romaine lettuce romaine is super super expensive in the stores right now this pack of seeds cost me two dollars and 65 cents i'm going to plant four of these and each week i'm going to seed for others because each week i'm going to be harvesting and then replanting with romaine it's a lettuce so you don't want to plant any more than one per tray I have way too much there. <clears throat> so you can see how small that seed is. I'm just going to take one of those and I'm going to put it in like that. And if you get two, I mean, you can do two and just weed out the weakest. Now with lettuce, what you want to do is you want to kind of go down a little bit deeper so that when it roots, it's got a little bit more of a root base under the soil and uh, yeah I just covered that up you don't have to cover it up I find it works better for me if you cover it up but it, yeah it does give a better root base if you go down a little bit lower with the lettuces and then stoke seeds sent me compliments of stoke seeds little sweetie snow peas this is a bush type so I really want to try these and we're only going to do two of these and of course the peas are pea sized like a dried pea and we're just going to pop that in to there and i'm going to go down a little bit deeper and that one into there what i do is i take a little spray bottle just lightly over top to make sure that the seeds that you put in are uh, saturated. Put your dome over and then we're going to go into the group grow room and I'll show you what we've got set up in there. Okay so I have this now under the grow lights in the grow room and I've got it on a heat mat. I'll show you the heat mat in a minute. So I bought two of these heat mats actually off Amazon and uh, this one's upside down so I'll show you the actual one that I'm not using right now. I find that they grow way better when you have them on a heat mat. It just keeps, keeps everything warm and we will be back in a few days, probably two days to see how they are all making out. These are the heat mats that we purchased and like I said there were $37 for two of them and uh yeah they work super well they are a 10 inch by 20 point 20 and three quarter inch and it fits them the tray on perfectly keeps them very warm and it does work very well so that's that and we will be back in a couple days to show you how the propagation is going and cannot wait to get transplanting you guys all have a great weekend we'll see you later